Maxwell flight test crew here at the 2013 Mini Maker Fair in Portland, Oregon, being put on by OMSI, the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. We are here showing people the benefits of FPV multi-rotor flight by giving free drone rides. And you know what? There's a lot of people here. We better get on with it. The event brought together more than 6,000 people who had the opportunity to see a frisbee flinging robot, more than a few high quality Lucasfilm knockoffs, handicrafts dating back centuries, an interactive pyro sculpture, tethered sumo submarines, and, well, whatever this thing is. Our goal was to introduce people to FPV flying and the idea of homemade drone aircraft, a challenge that we hope other hobbyists will take up in their own communities. Now, this was a great venue because a lot of people got to see what we were doing, how we do it, and how safely it could be operated. Of course, conducting a live FPV demonstration meant finding a place to fly where we wouldn't be putting the teeming multitudes in danger. Here at Mini Maker Fair, there are literally thousands of people watching us fly. Now, we obviously can't fly over those people, so we had to find somewhere else to fly that was safe. Apart from the unnerving prospect of a water landing, the Willamette River was the ultimate safe zone, despite the fact we were flying right in the middle of downtown Portland. We were even able to drop in and visit some local boaters, out enjoying the last few days of pleasant summer weather. As we've seen many times before, putting our spare set of goggles on a person for the very first time makes a lasting impression. I was able to be somewhere that I wasn't, and I could see from that point of view, it was a little disconcerting to, to not have the, the motion, but other than that, I mean, yeah, it was, it was neat to be able to get a view of, of the Markham Bridge, of the river that I've never seen before, um, and probably won't see until I actually get a, a drone of my own. This really is a lot of fun, which is one reason we hope that other FPV enthusiasts will get involved in doing public demonstrations. However, this type of event also has its own unique challenges. So the last time we did a big public event like this, Tekkenstein and I were just overwhelmed. We couldn't safely be pilot and spotter. They're just the spotter was too busy helping other people try on the gobble, goggles and explaining things. So this time we recruited some help. So we're working in a three-person team this time. We've got the pilot, the spotter, whose only job is to spot the aircraft, and then a helper who's there to help people try on the goggles and answer questions. We really don't want that spotter's attention getting divided while the pilot's in the air. We were fortunate to have two stalwart volunteers who came out to help us. My name's Scott Edwards, and I'm happy to have come out and helped the Roswell Flight Test Crew at the Mini Maker Fair here in Portland. Uh, I was able to help answer all kinds of great questions uh, that help us educate the public about hobby UAV usage. Uh, able to do some hand recovers, some spotting, of course, for safe flying in a very crowded environment. Uh, and in general, had a great time showing this off to the public. So today I brought my aircraft along. This is the DJI F330 frame. Um, and I got it last weekend at the PDX Drones Challenge that was uh, right across the parking lot here at OMSI. Um, so this is a quadcopter, obviously we have our FPV system up here, which is a camera and transmitter, kind of in a little pod here. On the back I have my video, or my uh, RC receiver, and um, on the bottom here we have something kind of cool, it is the uh, Mobius HD camera, um, mounted on a little vibration mount that I made. Our base of operations for the event was a tent, 10 feet square. All right. So here you see the display we've got set up at our booth. We've got a few aircraft here, we've got a radio, and we've also got this screen going where we're showing some of our previous videos so people can see what we do. Obviously we can't while we're here inspect a rail car or a wind turbine, so this is a chance for them to get a flavor for it. We had another screen where people could see a live video feed coming down from Raven while she was airborne. We also had a charging station set up. We're really going through batteries here. Giving flight demos and uh, rides eats through pretty quick. We've got the charges going full time. We're just barely able to keep up, I think. Oh, there it goes. In addition, we had handouts available for the attendees. <laughs> All right, so obviously being in Maker Fair, our goal is to get people to go home and make these things for themselves. So we put together this little sheet to give them some information. Over here, we've sort of got a basic description of how the aircraft itself works. Here we've got FPV, quick look at some of the rigs. 
And on the back, we've got a glossary, so when they start looking online, they won't be completely confused. One of our neighbors was PDX Yar, Portland's local band of singing pirates and black powder enthusiasts. Oh, you pigs and poses, go down. The red roses, go down. It's growl, you may, but go, you must. Go down. The red roses, go down. If you growl too much, your head. Twice a day, they would give a deafening demonstration of their armament. <laughs> So now sit back, relax, and enjoy the Freebooters' Furious Fusillade. If you fly FPV, we hope that you'll take up our mantle and put on a public flight demonstration where you live so that people in your community can start getting comfortable with the idea of homemade drones and FPV flying. If you do, be prepared to answer a lot of questions. How far does it fly? Are you spying people with these? How long does it take to build one of these things? How much does it weigh? What kind of battery does it use? How much can it lift? So how long does it take to charge the batteries? How much money does it cost me to build one of these things? So what do you control it with? And finally, I'll leave you with a quiz for our hardcore fans. So behind me here you see the aforementioned steel reinforced concrete bridge pilings. Now sometime in the next two months, I'm going to use that phrase publicly. If you spot it and you're the first one to send me an email, there's a Roswell flight test crew shoulder patch in it for you. All right, so that was our day at the Portland Mini Maker Fair. We hope that maybe we've shown you how you can get out and show people how fun FPV can be. Well, hope you enjoy watching. See you next time. All right, fly safe.